What's going on guys, welcome back to another Photopea tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm showing you guys how you can make a retro 80s banner super easily, just a few steps, a few layers. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so once you're in Photopea, we're just gonna make a new project and we're gonna type in 2560 for the width and 423 for the height. But at the end, we will switch it to 2560 by 1440 because that's what YouTube accepts. Very important, so keep that in mind and let's hit create. So now we got the banner and we just need a background. So luckily I found a background which will be down in the description below if you wanna use it. I'm just gonna copy that, bring it into Photopea by hitting Control V to paste it. Now I'm gonna click Control, Alt, and T to resize it. Just gonna hold Shift while I drag one of the boxes. And I'm gonna move it down to about here. This works pretty good. Hit that check mark. Now we're ready to add some text. So let's go to our text tool over here on the left and click anywhere on the canvas. I'm gonna type in your name. This will be a template as well. If you wanna use it, it'll be down in the description below. And for the size, we're gonna be using 200. For the font, we're gonna be using Commando. Okay, so I found Commando. There we go. We're just going to drag that to the center and a little bit down like that. Now we're ready to start editing our text. So let's go ahead and double click on our text. We're first going to add a stroke and the size is going to be 11 and the color is going to be a dark blue. Kind of like this. Hit OK. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add an inner glow. So go to inner glow. Change the color to white. Change the blend mode to color dodge. Change the opacity to 100 and the spread and size. The spread's going to be 8 and the size is going to be 10. Feel free to pause it and copy these settings if you'd like. But I'm going to move on to the next part, which is the gradient overlay. This is the part where it might get kind of tricky, so bear with me. Go ahead and click on the gradient overlay. We're going to keep everything here the same except for the gradient color itself. So go ahead and click on that gradient box and we are going to add a few more boxes. So just click to add your boxes. So we're going to add one, two, three, four, five. We're going to start out on the far left and make the first one white. You can double click on it and then just choose your color. Next one's going to be a, like a yellowish kind of uh, white, kind of like this. Doesn't have to be perfect. Here's the color code if you want it. Whoa, I don't know what just happened there. Color code is right here. Feel free to copy that. The next one is going to be a hot pinkish color. Like that. The one right next to it is going to be a darker color of this hot pink. Yeah, kind of like that. And then the gray is going to be white. I'll make that next one white. Then light blue and then dark blue. And then you can adjust these if you want. It's going to look something like this. So it looks pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty sure that's all we need to do for the text. So you can just hit OK. And we're ready to move on to the next part, which is actually the color balance. And this really makes it come together and look really good. So go ahead and go to your adjustment layer down here and click on color balance. For red, we're going to turn it all the way up. For green, we're going to turn it all the way down. And for blue, we're going to turn it all the way up. And now it really brought the colors in and it looks super good now. We don't need this background layer anymore. So go ahead and click on it and click delete on your keyboard. Now we are very close to being done. Go ahead and go back to your text and select it. Go up to warp. For the style, we're going to do arc upper. And for the bend, we're just going to do like 14%. And if you hit that check mark, you can see looks a lot nicer now. Now what we're going to do is add a new layer. So click on your top layer and then click on this new layer button. We're going to use our zoom tool to zoom out quite a bit. And we're going to go to our brush tool over here. If you hold alt and drag right click, you can resize the brush. So if you move up and down, it makes it more harsh and soft. If you move it right and left, that makes it bigger and smaller. So we're going to make it about this big. 
Make sure your top box is white and just click above your picture. Now that didn't do much. So we're going to go here like that. Now it seems pretty extreme, but we're going to turn the opacity down. So go to opacity over here, turn that down a bit and you can see the difference. Makes it look really cool. I really like that a lot. Personal preference, so you don't have to do it. And we are actually on the last step already. So go ahead and go down to your adjustment layer again and go to curves for the channel. We're going to start on red and go up on this line, down on this line. We're going to do the same for green and blue is going to be the opposite. So instead of up and down, we're going to go down and up. So if we hide that, you can see the difference in the color. Now you could keep it this way or you could do this way. It's up to you, but I like it this way. So now we are ready to change it back to the final size. So go up to image, canvas size, and type in 1440 in the height and hit okay. So now we can see here, it looks a little weird. So what we can do is just add some black bars if we want to so go ahead and click on your rectangle tool, go up to fill and change it to black. And what we can do is just drag across the top do the same for the bottom. Now you might not know like where it cuts off. So go ahead and make the size small again. Back to four, two, three, and then just make that line below it like that. Now we can change it back. You can resize these if you want it to be uh, precise, but that should be it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.